And welcome back again. Today was not a bad day across the area. The worst we had was some clouds. Really, that's about it. Some overcast conditions. Most of us were sitting above average, so I don't think we're going to complain about that. Unfortunately, out to the west, we are going to complain. Rain's starting to fill in. That's with that cold front. It's going to move through our area. It's going to be a pretty stout cold front, so get prepared for some cooler or colder temperatures. Over the past hour, again, we've been overall fairly nice besides some clouds. That's really about it. Lows for tonight, we're going to stay in the mid-50s, 55 Meridian, 56 up in Collinsville, and 57 up in Union. Those winds will be out of the south, yeah, right around 5 miles per hour, so calm, overcast skies, though, and mild. And then for your Saturday, yeah, the entire state's looking at some thunderstorms and with that cold front. It's looking, again, pretty stout. I can't say that enough. It's going to drop our temperatures by 20 to 30 degrees, depending on where you're at, so not going to be nice. But until then, for tomorrow, yeah, we'll stay in the mid-60s. We'll get those winds out of the south, 5 to 10 miles per hour. And as that cold front moves through, well, again, we're looking at a squall line with some heavy thunderstorms along with it. There's a slight chance that some of these could be severe, and we're talking mainly some high winds, some heavy downpours, maybe an isolated tornado. It's going to be one of those quick spin-ups along a squall line. We're not looking at some single heavy cells moving through. We're looking at a pretty long squall line that's going along with this cold front. I'll we'll show you this right here as we get on into tonight. Again, some, maybe some scattered showers filling into the area as we go on throughout your Saturday morning. And then throughout Saturday, early afternoon, there it comes. And once that squall line gets through here and that cold front moves through, there's a slight chance of maybe some wraparound showers. Should this model showing some snow? I don't think we're going to see any snow, unfortunately. I wish we would, but we're not. So we'll just have to deal with that. I don't think anybody's going to mind that, though. And for early next week, we're looking at some chilly conditions across the area. High pressure building in over the eastern U.S. And again, I told you, we're kind of going to be on a roller coaster, kind of like what the jet stream's doing. And just get ready for some more Arctic air to move into our area, especially next week. We're going to get several rounds of this. But over the next three to five days, rainfall totals, yeah, we're looking at maybe a half inch to an inch of rain. It's really about it. Could be some locally or heavier amounts. Not too bad in the whole grand scheme of things. And then any severe storms, again, we're looking at maybe maybe some damaging winds and some flooding downpours across our area. But once that cold front moves through here, it drops all that drastically and we'll be pretty much done with it. So your next three days look like this. Some drenching thunderstorms, some heavy thunderstorms, 66 degrees for your Saturday. And there you go. And this one we're, I'm got us down 36 degrees dropping as far as that's concerned. 30 degrees for an overnight low. And we're kind of those northerly winds, wind chills in the 20s, 45 degrees for high on Sunday, 24 for a low. And with that 24, it's also going to be breezy and windy with northerly winds. So we're talking wind chills in the teens, most likely. Plenty of sunshine for your Monday as we begin a gradual warm up on into your Tuesday, 61, 55 for Wednesday. Notice though, Tuesday and Wednesday, we're looking at more rain across the area. And then there's some more Arctic air moving into the region. Wednesday night, Thursday night, we're talking near freezing with wind chills again below freezing. We'll stay in the 40s and 50s to end next week. 